Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Ji Yuan Zhou, a master's student from the Southeastern University. Today, I'm honored to share our work titled A Cross Domain Method for Customer Lifetime Value Prediction in Supply Chain Platform. And let's look at the background. In today's business landscape, accurate prediction of customer lifetime value is crucial for companies. Uh, especially in supply chain platforms. This prediction have assigned marketing resources effectively to appropriate uh, customers, thereby benefiting both company revenue and uh, customer satisfaction. Customer lifetime value prediction is a time series for casting problem and that aims to predict a customer's future conception value based on the historical conception series. However, there are two scenario characteristics handle the effective application of a traditional time series forecasting method to the customer lifetime value prediction. And the first is the data sparsity issue. Uh, in the early stage of the customer's life cycle, and the customer's historical data is limited. And, uh, and the second, the second uh, is the special long tail distribution of customer lifetime value. Cross domain recommendation is a technique employees reach domain information, the source domain, to enhance the recommendation accuracy in the sparse domains and the target domain. Inspired by this, we can apply cross domain method to the customer lifetime value prediction in supply chain platform. And we can use the rich cross domain information from the upstream industry platform to solve the data sparsity issue uh, of the downstream industry platform. Um, and how to apply the cross domain method um, to the customer lifetime value prediction in supply chain platform? Let me introduce a typical working flow of a, a supply chain platform firstly. It comprises two linked uh, um, platforms, uh, an e-commerce platform and a logistic service platform. And the overlap between the e-commerce platform shoppers and the logistic service platform users represents the uh, supply chain platform customers. And uh, we can take the e-commerce platform as a source domain and the logistic service platform as a target domain. Um, we can leverage um, cross-domain information um, that can provide valuable insights for enhancing customer lifetime value prediction on the log logistic service platform. However, customer lifetime value prediction and in supply chain platform and remains a challenging task due to firstly and the long tail distribution of customer lifetime value is hard to model and then the long tail leads to best cross domain information transfer and thirdly learning effective source domain knowledge transfer patterns is a challenge uh, especially when building upon uh, limited non-sparse customer samples to improve the predictions for sparse customers. Uh, for the related works, there are some constraints. Uh, for the existing customer lifetime value prediction, uh, they, they, this method utilizes uh, single domain data. And they rely on the availability of abundant historical customer data for training. And this is a strong conception. And uh, for existing cross-domain recommendation method, uh, no prior research has applied cross-domain recommendation techniques to the domain of customer lifetime value prediction, which faces a lot of challenges we introduced before. Uh, now let, let's introduce our framework. 
network and CDL TVS across domain methods for customer lifetime value prediction in supply chain platform. Uh, and uh, initially, we preaching the single domain to obtain the uh, source domain and the target domain representations. And uh, in the second stage, we conduct uh, cross domain training with the uh, uh, pre trained uh, source domain and the target domain uh, representations. And the stage one um, training method is called LTVS. Let me introduce it first. Uh, and uh, our, our single domain pre-training method, firstly, it employs the DFFM and the uh, temporal convolutional, convolutional network to encode the input data and the customer portrait features and the co conception and series. And then it fuses the encoded embeddings and uh, um, employs expert uh, mask network. XMN and to output the single single domain representation and the customer lifetime value. And the XMN has a special design and to dis distinguish customers of varying value levels in the future space, uh, which provides the model with more opportunities to learn and generalize effectively from the tail data. And therefore, this have addressed the long and tail distribution problem and uh, mitigates the issue of better cross domain information transfer. And the XM uh, aims to use a uh, expert router to assign different uh, uh, to assign distinct vector maskers um, for the data in the head and the tail segments. And the vector mask map the customer features of different value levels to the different subspaces. And to accomplish this, we associate the expert routing with the customer lifetime value distribution uh, information through these following two constraints. And the first is the expert classification cross entropy loss. It forces the expert router um, to categorize the customer samples into their respective uh, lifetime value levels. Uh, and uh, the second is the export ordinal regression loss. It establishes the relative order relationship among the routing experts. Finally, the total loss for the source domain pre-training in stage one is a combination of customer lifetime value prediction um, loss and the XMN loss. And uh, this page we present the training process for cross domain prediction in the second stage. It inputs the pre-trained single domain representation uh, and outputs the customer lifetime value. It begins by using a knowledge transferring module to transfer the uh, source domain representation to a new embedding. And then it adds various level alignment losses um, to align the transfer the uh, source domain representation and the target domain representation. It help enhance source domain knowledge transfer for both the sparse and the non-sparse data. And, uh, and the first alignment loss enhances the similarity between the source and the target uh, knowledge representation of the same customer. It is only applied to the customer with ample historical information. And the second loss help distinguish sparse data and the non-sparse data with, within the special representation. Um, because these two types of data have different knowledge transferring patterns. 
and our experiments on a real world dataset um, comprising 5,000 uh, customers from Jindong company um, have demonstrated the superiority of our message over the state of art methods. And the uh, performance comparison um, demonstrates that our method is effective in customer lifetime value prediction on the various level and the various data sparsity levels. And uh, our method constantly outperforms baseline models on both sparse and non-sparse data set. Uh, and the XMN loss contributes the most to the performance since it addresses two main challenges. Uh, and uh, finally, the fine-tuned performance is interesting, uh, which shows that the expert sample allocation is different between the stage one and the stage two. The number of working uh, experts has gone from four uh, in, into three. And this adaptive adjustment of expert sample allocation in stage two indicates that the two-stage training mechanism offers an effective learning path for the expert Mexico network. In conclusion, our work is uh, is the first cross-domain customer lifetime value prediction in supply chain platform. And we propose the expert mask network and the various level alignment mechanism to address the main challenges. Uh, and our method outperforms the baseline methods on the various data sparsity levels. Uh, that's all. Thank you for your attention.